Welcome to the 25th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at curving your borders and you do that with a radius property. And so let's look at our web page. And so what we'll do is we'll put this against our generic paragraph class that we created. So we want to curve each one of these corners. And so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll open up our style sheet. And here's our generic paragraph class that we created. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this in here. And again, it'll curve it by 10 pixels. So let's save this. Now I want you to open this up with Google Chrome if you have Google Chrome installed. And you'll see here we've got these nice curved borders now. Now if we close this out and open this up in Internet Explorer, you'll notice they're not curved. And the reason is, and I wanted to point this out, some of these rules don't work with the older versions of IE. So I have IE 8. Now if you have a later version of Internet Explorer, it might be fine, but IE8 didn't support this rule. So just be aware that some of the older releases do not support some of the CSS properties. So again, if we open this back up in Chrome, we can see it works fine because I have the latest version of Chrome installed on this computer. And now, of course, we see the property is applied. So we'll use Chrome throughout the rest of this video. Uh, and if you have a later version of IE Explorer, you, you can certainly go ahead and open it up with IE uh, 9 or 10, and this property should work just fine. Now, what I want to also show you now is that you can also add curvature to select corners. So, so for instance, we can do border bottom left radius. If we put zero pixels here, this won't be curved. But if we do the border top left side and put 10 pixels in here, it will be curved. So this is a way for you to specifically specify which corners you want curved. And so let's go ahead and copy and paste all of these rules in here. And I'll show you how this works. So let's save this. Let's open it up in Google Chrome. And there you can see we've only got the two top corners curved. If we wanted to curve the bottom corners, we could just add 10 pixels. So you see how that works. Now let's go ahead and actually curve all the corners. So we'll put this property back in there and save it. And we'll open it back up with Chrome. And there you can see we're back to normal. Okay, let's close that out. These only work against the corners, these properties. If you want to work against a specific side, you can also do that. And you can do that against the style, the width, and the color. So let's uh, pick a style, for instance. Let's say, um, let's put in here border bottom hyphen style. And we'll do uh, dotted. So now we're just going to say we only want the bottom dotted. And so let's go to our style sheet. And you can see here the style we were applying was solid. So it's applying it, of course, to all the sides. But here we'll just say we want the bottom dotted. So if we save this and go in, down here, you can see now just the bottom is dotted. So that's how that works. And actually, I opened that up in Internet Explorer. Let's actually open that up in Chrome so we can see the uh, curvature. And there you can see we've got the bottom dotted. So that's how that worked. And again, like I said, you can also do that with width and color. So let's actually change this to red. And we'll put in color. And now the bottom should be painted in red. So we'll open this up again in Google Chrome. And you can see we've got a red bottom. So feel free to play around with these. And I will see you guys in the next video.